All right, so in this video, guys, we're gonna talk about how to safely and uh, effectively operate a brush cap on our T76 uh, that we ran out. And uh, the first thing I wanna say about operating these is it's awesome. Uh, it's a lot of fun, very easy. It's just like running a lawnmower, um, just a lot bigger and can be a lot more dangerous if you're not careful. Um, the first thing to always do in any mowing application is evaluate what you're mowing and make sure you walk the property. A lot of people are renting these to mow very thick um, you know, vegetation and if you don't walk that vegetation, you can easily end up damaging the attachment by, you know, maybe there's a pile of rocks, maybe there's a, a couple steel stakes in there you didn't know about. Um, and, and I can think of many times where customers have run into those types of issues. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, it's, it's super, super important to make sure that you're aware of your surroundings and, and where you're headed with that mower. Um, just a, a simple rock, not only can it damage the attachment, but it can also fly out uh, and, and do damage to something that is nearby. Uh, so make sure that there is no one, you know, within, uh, was it 200 feet yeah, of these, feet. Uh, uh, this attachment while you're operating it. It's, it's super important that this is uh, adhered to um, as, you know, we, we do not want to see any any uh, uh, damage under the equipment, but, all, but even more so, we don't want to see any loss of life or damage to somebody. Yeah. And, and the interesting thing about this is most people think of it as, oh, it's just a mower and it's great for weeds. Um, but it really does, as you saw in the last part of that video there, that it, it just, it'll go through anything, what is it, uh, the size of your thumb or it's two up, fingers? It's up, to, it's up to two inch diameter. Yeah, two inch diameter. what this diameter. is rated for. So it's, it's not a forestry machine, but it absolutely can make your hunting trails, your camp trails. Um, you know, what, whatever types of trails on your property you want to make, it can clear cut um, so that you can get ready to put your lawn in. Um, so many easy applications and really what you do is just like you're seeing in the video, you just drive forward in a direction and uh, you know, you can do like a lawnmower and turn around and come back the same way or you can just do a loop pattern. Um, there's, there's no wrong way to do it short of uh, backwards. Uh, you really don't want to do backwards with these. Um, but uh, other this, than that, this specific uh, brush hog is meant to be run on the ground. It has a large roller uh, in the back and uh, two skids up front. Uh, it also has a safety feature to where if it's picked up, I believe it's eight inches off the ground, it automatically shuts off for safety reasons. So yeah. uh, this machine, really, this attachment really shines uh, in the grass and light brush when you can just keep driving. Uh, like Mike said, just almost like a lawnmower, just keep driving, you know, pick it up, turn around, go back the other direction. Uh, a very, very uh, nice attachment, very easy to use, but again, just make sure that all the, uh, the safety uh, functions are adhered to. So, um, on the topic of safety, uh, they have chains hanging down on the front of most of these attachments. Can you explain why they have those? Correct. Because So this, this particular uh, mower has two hydraulic uh, drive motors and uh, two blades on each. So there's four blades spinning at an extremely high uh, rate of speed uh, and just about anything can fly out and, and, and cause damage out the front of that mower. So uh, those, it's important that uh, those safety chains uh, remain in place and are not tampered with or removed in any way. Uh, this just helps keep the debris uh, at a minimum for, for what uh, could flying out uh, in front of the mower. Um, uh, is, uh, you know, it's super important that uh, debris uh, is maintained inside the, uh, the mowing uh, chamber of the brush hog. So uh, these blades, just so everybody's aware, they spin even after you shut the machine off, correct? On these attachments these, or does the these, hydraulic These block have a hydraulic brake on them which causes them to stop spinning in about five seconds. Five seconds, okay. So keeping that in mind, you know, if your kid's running out to bring you a drink or whatever, um, you know, when you shut it off, you still have five seconds where that blade is still engaged and spinning. So if they slip as they're running up, that blade is still spinning for at least five seconds. And it's important to know that not all brush hogs are the same. Mm -hmm. um, some brands do not have a, a safety shutdown feature. Some require uh, you to, to tip them over forward and actually run the blades right into the ground to stop them. Yep. So it's important to know your attachment, know what you're running to make sure that uh, there's no injury. 
uh, you know, occurred due and to a blade spinning after the machine is shut off. And we would hope it goes without saying, but we have to say it, that you never have somebody step on that attachment while it's operating. Um, you never have them step near it. We said stay 200 feet away. We mean that um, it is absolutely as fun as it is dangerous um, if you're outside of the machine. Um, you know, these, these machines are, are protected just fine for the operator on the inside, but not anybody on the outside. Uh, common things to watch out for. I think uh, as you're operating these, the most common uh, failure we see is pretty much those hoses those you hoses. see right there. Um, they're exposed, and it, as you're trying to drive through thick vegetation like we show here, now normally you'd go straight through that. We drove it side profile so that you can kind of see uh, what it's doing and what kind of things it can take down really easily. Um, but those hoses can catch on things, um, you know, bigger trees with a big limb that's sticking out that's broken off or something. And what we see is they rip that coupling block off and that can lead to, uh, you know, a thousand bucks or so in damage. And, and that's the only thing you really have to avoid beyond scratches on the decals and things like that. And making sure that, uh, again, being aware of your surroundings, making sure there's no standing water that you're driving yeah. through, which could yeah. cause the machine to, uh, to get stuck or, um, you do not want to uh, have the, the brush hog sink into the dirt, hit rocks, and then you're damaging blades and that yeah. type of thing. So Now, on the water topic, um, obviously with these being track loaders, they do have better flotation than skid steers. They do. So you can go through puddles, you know, you can drive your muddy, um, you know, hunting trails or maybe you have property or whatever. You can go through your farm field. For sure. It's, you really tend to start getting stuck with these when you start wiggling with them, right? If you coast right through those puddles, um, you tend to be okay, but um, if Paying you're- attention to the machine for sure. Yeah. If you notice that your tracks are starting to slip and spin, then you're definitely getting into a scenario where it's too wet and you yeah. have the potential to get stuck. Yeah. Um, so we talked about hazards to look for. We call, or talked about you know the operating. Um, we talked a lot about the safety features of this machine. Um, obviously, don't operate one of these without a cab door. Um, that's an important piece. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, there's not much to grease on these while you have them. We send them out pre-greased. If you have it for over a month, you're going to want to re-grease it again. Um, you know, the blades are sharpened before we send it out. So um, if you're in a heavy use application, you're probably going to want to sharpen those, um, which, you know, there's just a phone call to us and we'll go ahead and run a service call. It won't cost you much. We'll get out there and, uh, you know, sharpen those blades for you. And then as far as, uh, Attachments, what, what do people commonly add on to a, a rental with a brush cap? One other thing too, uh, I, we, we failed to mention about the maintenance of it is making sure, as you can see, the back of the machine has a grate on top of it yeah. where the uh, air uh, inflow uh, is for the radiator to maintain, uh, that make sure that the machine uh, remains cool. Uh, make sure that that stays uh, free of debris. Uh, just uh, shut the machine off every couple hours to get out there and you can manually just scrape off the grate, make sure there's no leaves, sticks, twigs, dirt, anything like that, which could inhibit the airflow uh, and cause the machine to overheat. Yeah, make sure you're wearing gloves when you're doing that because if the machine's already hot, you're, that muffler is going to be four or five hundred degrees, you don't want to touch that. Right. Um, so just wear gloves while you're doing that. So another common uh, attachment to add on to this would be uh, a, a form of a grapple, a root grapple, grapple yeah. bucket. Because you can see it, it mulches up debris <coughs> and stuff, but it does, uh, uh, it's not a finished mower, so it does right. leave larger debris behind. So you can uh, quickly detach that uh, mower, hook up to a gravel bucket, and then if you're scraping the field or the, your trails or whatever, or you, can, burn you can remove the, the debris to make a nice smooth trail. Yeah. Uh, and we do that uh, in, in our property, actually, you know, right. with our hunting trails. We'll, We'll go through, we'll run the brush kit on it, we'll, uh, and we actually do it with the Bobcat tractor. Um, but then once we're done, we'll go through and we'll take that industrial grapple and we'll sure. go through, grab, you know, whatever trees have fallen, anything like that, and just lift them and move them. And, you know, for a $1,500 weekend, you, you clear out all your trails on the whole property and you're done for the entire hunting season. It's incredible. For so, sure. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's it for this video. So thanks for joining us and uh, enjoy cutting your trails, enjoy your property and uh, have a good one. <laughs>